Okay, we're gonna start roofing today and obviously it's super windy because that's what happens when you're roofing for the first time in your life. What we've done is we've measured exactly where the middle of the span is and I've put this double ridge support up here and I watched a video, I'll post a link to the video up here, I watched a video there, it's, it's an American video but it's so clear and helpful to help figure things out and so I've, I've calculated, using that video uh, as an example, I've calculated the height of the ridge post and the, the, the ridge is going to sit dead on top of that up into there. So we're going to start clearing this fascia board off. We've got a nice sturdy sheet of 18 mil on top here which we can stand on to clear this fascia board off. We can then sight up and see exactly where this lines up. We have our, our ridge board there ready to go. I've worked out the angles of, so I've created a little template down there using the ultimate framing square which is just awesome. I've used that and that sits nicely. In fact, let me see if I can reach that. I'm not actually going to template off this because I'm going to measure every rafter individually and I'm going to cut them all. I'm going to measure and cut each one one by one just because I'm not overly confident on it yet. But that there is really nice and sturdy and it just misses that beam there, which is good. And actually this is going to be raised up slightly, we've got another sheet of this 18mm OSB to go on first. But you can see what I've done here, I've done all my calculations, all my workings out, all my workings, they're all on here. So I'm going to transfer them onto this so I can see them nice and clearly because this is obviously going to get covered by this sheet of skin of OSB. We're just starting to get ourselves prepared now. Right, I've set up the post which is going to... My, which my ridge beam is going to sit on. The other thing I've done is I've attached this here. Obviously that's oh, the wind. That's obviously a main beam down there and I have timber locked this through. There are actually three timber locks in the bottom one and then three more in the top one. So it's very, very strong and fixed in here. And actually this helps me not cheat, but just get a little bit closer without having to worry about the maths quite so much. I know that my ridge plate is going to be 223 mil. So what I can do is I can sit that at 223 mil and then I can slide it along this way up until the point that it hits the bottom of that rafter and then I know that it's going to be perfectly square and it will be in line with that because that's the middle of the of the house and that should stop my ridge plate from being skewed at an angle ideally hopefully that's the plan anyway. But this just kind of takes a little bit of the guesswork out of it and it's never going to be seen. It's going to be inside the building, inside the roof, underneath. So it just helps, helps with that. Saturday and I'm back out laying out my rafters for this side gable roof. I've pitched, I've pitched the ridge beam and now I'm going to be laying out for this. And I'm using this, I absolutely love this, it's brilliant. You know, you mark down the length from where the, you know you've got the end there I haven't chopped it off yet because it's a bit early and I don't want to disturb the neighbours but I'll make my angle cut my plum cut at the top there mark down the top to the length line that up and put it on here that's great I didn't spend any time filming this because it's wet and rainy and cold but I have now cut out all of the all of the rafters here for this. These are oversized, these are 8 inches where they only need to be 6 inches. So um, I was, I spoke to the structural engineer and I was able to get a little bit more depth of cut on this to match the fact that these are 6 inch rafters there. Not ideal but it's not the end of the world and it's, it's absolutely fine structurally. On this side because there's nothing here it was fine to do this normally where you'd have a third and two thirds. But again these are completely oversized you know eight inches eight inch rafters is just crazy big but it's good to have the strength so all of these are cut and then on monday sorry about the wind on monday now that i've got all these cut with my mate barry who you'll have seen in other videos i'm going to start get running these running these up and getting them in up onto the ridge there but they're all cut and ready in place to go wedges yeah yeah i've got to be honest 
Right, I made a bit of an error on the angle here because I'm filming, it's just picked up the wind again. Anyway, look, I made a bit of an error on the angle, so I'm shamelessly having to pack it up with 11 mil of OSB here, but then we are pretty much dead on up here, like that, and they are perfectly level across, and they're exactly the same height as the stuff underneath. So it's, it's solid, it's good, they're very sturdy, they're not gonna go anywhere. A little bit of jiggery pokery here, but it's, it's fine, it is what it is. And then I might have to do the same on the front ones, but again, this is not really going to be having any load on it other than this kind of implied load from the roof itself and maybe the odd bit of snow and rain. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put collars across from here. They've not been specified, but given that I've had to change the angle slightly, it makes sense to do it. And uh, it doesn't really cost anything in terms of timber to get, to get some collars on there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. But it is going well and they are going in. But yeah, the error on the angle was actually my fault. It's, it's really tricky, right? So this span here is 4.7 meters. Half a degree's difference over 4.7 meters ends up being best part of an inch. So, or even an inch and a half. So trying to figure out the pitch of this roof just based off, you know, what's already here is actually not particularly easy done over a short, done over a short span. Um, but you know i'm not gonna make excuses it is what it is i'm you know i made a slight mistake but i've rectified it and now we are sitting nice and tight up here on this bit we're going to have a piece of osb that, sh that shims up behind here deliberately we, you know we left this overhang here for the osb to come up so that that's that gap there perfectly braced which is good so and they're all perfectly level across the top one another and they're perfectly in line with that so it works and it's good and they're straight <laughs> right the rafters are cut and in you can see here nice and tight the whole way along and they're level as well which is good the insides level which is very helpful and they're all level down there they're all level down there in fact I can show you Get a spirit level. And I sit that across there. They're almost touching. There's a little bit of sag in one of the two of them, but ostensibly, broadly speaking, they're on. So you, look, you can see there, they're all nice and touching the whole way across, which is really good. So, and it's the same at the front as well. Front and back are the same, which is good. I'm going to be having a roof light going in around sort of here, I think, that's going to, a, a light tunnel, sorry, that's going to then pipe light down into this portion of the hallway. That's going to be the entrance hall for the room, so I need to stick that in soon, but the roofer is coming tomorrow to help with the tile and the battens. So what we're going to do now, we're going to move this sheet of 18mm OSB right up to the edge, and we're going to frame frame this end of the gable, so, the, so this gable roof is finished by the end of the day which would be really good that crowbar is there because i made a few mistakes and i had to when i nailed them on had to take them off in the end but that happens in life i didn't have a chance to film much of it because it's been a bit frantic and i've had a lot going on so yeah this is, and also this is not a tutorial this was never going to be a tutorial because i'm not a roofer uh i'm a have a go hero Right, I'm going to crack on with this 18mm OSB, which will help give us something to stand on and put all of our bits when we're storing things in here. And it also actually stops rainwater coming down there a little bit as well. Not, not loads, it's not designed to waterproof it, but it does help a bit. Right, so you, it's the next morning, but Yesterday we finished up this gable end. We framed it all out. I say we finished it. We actually need to do stud work, um, noggins up in there. But yeah, this is done and it's sheathed. So what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna put the barge board on the outside here. I'm not gonna use a block this big, but effectively what I'm gonna do is block out like this and then I'll put another long board this way going all the way up to the end. So it 
and the tiles will lap all the way over and then the K rend can come up behind and underneath. Gives a really nice finish and the effect that you end up with, the effect you end up with is something like this, where you then cover with fascia and soffit under here. This is exactly what we did on this roof here. So it looks good, it's nice.